Tesco to close 43 stores despite better Christmas sales. The beleaguered supermarket Tesco has said it will close 43 unprofitable stores across the UK, a significant proportion of which will be local convenience shops. The firm is also shelving plans to open a further 49 new very large stores. Additionally, Tesco is closing its staff pension scheme, will make cuts of £250 million, and reduce overheads by 30%. It comes after two years of troubles at Tesco, which has suffered falling sales and profit warnings. Last year, the company was embroiled in an accounting scandal, and saw the departure of some senior executives. However the retail giant, which has more than 3,300 stores in the UK, had a better Christmas than expected. Continue reading the main story. Tesco Last updated at the 8th of January 2015, 10.17. Chart shows local time. Tesco intraday chart. Price change percent. 198.95p plus. Plus 16.95. Plus. Plus 9.31. Sales over the holiday period were down just 0.3% on the year before and up 0.1% if fuel sales are included. Overall, comparable sales for the three months to the beginning of January were down by 2.9%. In the previous three months, sales had dropped by 5.4%. Tesco's chief executive, Dave Lewis, said the firm was facing the reality of the situation, and was seeing the benefits of listening to our customers. Tesco also confirmed that two of its businesses, Tesco Broadband and online entertainment service Blinkbox, will be sold to Talk Talk. It also announced that Matt Davis, the boss of Harfords Group, will take charge of Tesco's operations in the UK and Republic of Ireland from June. Blinkbox Entertainment service Blinkbox will be among the assets sold by Tesco. Fight back. Sales at the retail giant improved in the six-week Christmas period, with grocery shopping up almost 13% on last year, and online clothing sales growing by more than 50%. Shares in Tesco rose by more than 5% in early trading on Thursday. The firm also confirmed it would not be paying a final dividend to shareholders for 2014-15. Finally, we are witnessing the beginning of the Tesco fight back, said John Nibbertson, director of retail consultants, Retail Vision. Previous management lacked the bottle to do what needed to be done. Tesco chief executive Dave Lewis, it would seem, has bottle a plenty. He has taken some tough decisions. Also among the cost-cutting measures announced on Thursday were plans to close Tesco's long-standing headquarters in Cheshunt. Hertfordshire, and move its main offices to Welland Garden City. The firm also said it was looking to sell Dunhumby, the data business behind Tesco's club card scheme. No details were given of which stores would be closed, nor of the number of job losses expected. Line Analysis, Kamla Ahmed, BBC Business Editor. Mr. Lewis will want to be cautious. The last place a supermarket wants to be is trapped on the wrong side of a trend when it comes to whether it should be opening or closing stores. Planning and building supermarkets can take years. With the economy improving and real incomes becoming slightly healthier, some believe that in-store shopping could return. Store openings are still a vital route to gaining new customers. Aldi and Lidl are opening shops as fast as they can find the sites.